Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution friends today in this video I am going to talk about TCS NQT 25th of October that means morning shift 8 to 11 a.m. reasoning questions so friends this will be the analysis of your morning shift uh, sessions and I will be also discussing the reasoning question okay now so friends if I will talk about the analysis then the questions of aptitude was tougher than 24th of October there is no doubt okay so the level was good okay and even we felt there were many questions where the options were wrong and we have already uploaded a video on aptitude if we talk about reasoning part friends then reasoning was very much similar to the questions which were there on the 24th of October all shift that means morning and afternoon shift so reasoning was easy and the similar exactly the similar pattern so when I will solve the today's question then you will be able to realize and friends if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe because we are giving you the fastest update even though the exam has not been finished yet we are uploading the paper of each and every sections so aptitude already we have uploaded and now we are going to upload the video for the reasoning so this is what is the analysis and definitely in the evening we will come up with a final analysis for today so friends the question number one so question number one many people will get confused in that but friends this is a simple Venn diagram question which you can easily solve it so consider the Venn diagram given below the number in the Venn diagram indicates that number of person people watching the TV program the diagram is drawn after surveying the 150 person in a population of 12,000. So friends, the total population, if we will talk about, is nothing but 12,000. But this diagram has, you know, drawn after uh, surveying 150 people, okay? Now, 150 persons. So how many persons or people can be expected to watch news only? So friends, I will tell you one thing. Suppose if I have two Venn diagram here this is very much important to understand and this is news and this is movie okay now so suppose this is 10 and this is 15 okay and in between 5 so friends this 10 will be that means the 10 are the person who watch only news okay please try to understand watch only news but if I will count the complete circle okay then there are total 15 people who watch news in that 10 will be only watching the news and the other 5 will be watching news plus movie both. Same thing here. So there are 15 people who watch only movie. Okay. But I will when you will take the complete circle then there are 20 people. There are 20 people or person. Okay. Those who are watching movies in that 15 watch only movies and 5 watch movies plus news. If you understand this, then your concept is very much clear. So here out of 150, one expected to watch news only. So they have used the term only. That means there are total. So out of 150, there are total 36 persons are there who are watching only news, right? Okay. Now what is the total population? Total population is nothing but total population is nothing but 12,000. Now, if you'll see how many times it is there, so 12,000 divided by 150, 1010 gone. So then 5, 3 and 5, 20 times and 3, 4 times. So total 80 times. So here also 15 into 8 will be what? 120. So here also 80 times. So no need to do this. You can directly see 15, 8, 120. Now, so 8, 6, 48 and 8, 3, 24 plus 4 will be 28. 2880 so 2880 persons are expected to watch news only now question number two so question number two is a problem from data sufficiency so study also friends we had seen there were problem from data sufficiency right okay so given below is the question followed by two statement one and two each containing some information decide which of the following are sufficient to answer the question what is the age of Sumit? So let us take the statement one first and then see. Okay, now 
सो सुमित इज फाइव इयर्स यंगर देन अमित सो सुमित इज नथिंग बट फाइव इयर्स यंगर देन अमित सो सुमित एज विल बिकम ए माइनस फाइव बिकॉज सुमित इज यंगर देन फाइव इफ अमित इज फिफ्टीन देन सुमित विल बिकम वॉट टेन दैट मीन्स आवर इक्वेशन इज करेक्ट सो सुमित इज फाइव इयर्स यंगर देन अमित हु इज डबल द एज ऑफ प्रतीक सो अमित इज नथिंग बट डबल द एज ऑफ प्रतीक ओके सी माई नेम इज ऑल्सो देर बट फ्रेंड्स वन थिंग यू सी so here we have two unknowns right so sumit is a unknown amit is a unknown and then one more unknown here so we will not be able to find out the age of sumit if i know the age of pratik then i will be able to get the age of amit and then i will be able to get the age of sumit so from a statement one alone we cannot answer now statement two pratik is 10 years elder than ravi whose age is 22 so pratik is 10 years elder than ravi and ravi age is nothing but 22 so 22 plus 10 32 so pratik age will be 32 so from the statement 2 alone also we cannot answer because they are interested in age of sumit they are not interested in age of pratik now but if you combine both but if you combine both 1 and 2 then pratik age is 32 then a age will become 2 into 32 which is nothing but 64 then sumit age will become 64 minus 5 then it will be nothing but 59 so statement 1 and 2 both are required to tell the age of sumit so data sufficiency problem we very clear with what you have to calculate right okay now friends question number 3 is a syllogism question and this question is a very good question okay because here either or concept will also come okay so here either or concept will also come i don't know how many of you have done it correctly but this is really a very good question so all clothes are shirts so all clothes okay so all clothes are shirts okay so all clothes are shirts and all shirts are pants okay so all shirts are pants okay so that is also done all shorts are pants and all coats are pants so all coats are pants now friends one more thing i wanted to tell you so here you will see the relation between shirt and coat okay the relation between cloth and coat has not been given in the statement right see direct relation has not been given so that is the reason when we draw that we don't know if the coat will be sharing shirt or if the coat will be sharing clothes because see clothes are shirt shirts are pant but coats are pant but what about coats shirt and clothes that relation has not been given so be very careful if in the option they ask you anything about clothes shirt relation with coat you directly tell sir i don't know it will not follow so no clothes is coat so cloth and coat so this will become false for me if the relation has not been given do not ask me some coats are shirts okay so some coat and shirt again okay so some coat and shirt again i please do not ask about coat and shirt some pants are clothes so some pants are clothes so you can see all clothes are pant then you can easily say some pants are clothes so option 3 that means conclusion 3 is correct some coats are clothes okay now so friends coats and clothes if you'll see coats and clothes then there is no relation so that will also become that will also become false now so friends here either or condition is also there so you need to check the option if in option either or in mentioned then you need to check so you see so option 1 and 4 so option 1 and 4 so subject and predicate is same so either or condition i had told you subject and predicate should be same coat clothes coat and clothes then both should be false so both are false that is also correct and then third one so one should be some and no so some no right so some not right so one some plus no right so some not so one should be some and one should be no that means one should be positive and one should be negative then it is a case of either or so my answer will become either so my answer will become either one or four and three follows and three follows friends many of you you will tell i know that sir you have done it wrongly but friends syllogism concept is little confusing little tricky so anyway you can match my answers with the other channels when they will release the solution but this is a correct and exact solution and the exact 
द वे टू डू इट वी हैव डन इट ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द दिस विल बी योर पार्टिकुलर आंसर देन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फ्रेंड्स सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर in each of the five pairs so this was a repeated kind of questions so study also we had the similar kind of questions so in each of the five pairs of the letter cluster the letters in the second term is arranged transformed form of the letters in the first term in a particular pattern which two pairs has the transformation in the same way so friends again one thing i wanted to tell you so we are really putting a lot of effort getting the questions typing it here and then uh, you know uh, uh, finding the solutions and then uploading the videos so friends we are really doing a lot of effort for you guys please appreciate our effort subscribe share with your friends and so that everybody will be able to see the main idea is you should be able to maxim uh, use it at the maximum possible way okay so everybody should be able to use it they should know okay so these kind of questions are coming and this is how we have to solve we are not doing any kind of mistake okay now so this question i am going to make little short so what i will do i will just uh, compare a and e and we will see if there is any uh, similarity is there or not okay so wm and here b w t k g and here g t k b w okay now so let me pick some other okay now so you see so the last one has come to the first place the last one has come to the first place then second one has gone to last second one has gone to last and then third one has come here and then third one has come here then fourth one has come here okay and then first one has gone to fourth fourth place first one has gone to fourth place so a and e both has a similarity so both has been arranged or transformed in the same way so option 4 will become the correct answer friends for all the settings the questions will be same only the options will be shuffled now what is the wrong term in the series so again in 24th of uh, october we had faced the similar kind of problem and reasoning is easy friends nothing to worry a x c so a is here and then if we'll come down so 1 2 3 so from this side after three places so always try to write in this way or a x okay and c is nothing but plus 2 so this and this is there is a, a plus 2 right then c plus e c v so c is here 1 2 3 and then this side plus 2 that is also done then f s f is here 1 2 3 and then f 2 h plus 2 right okay that is also done then J P M so J one two okay so J uh, J P so one two so here if you see J okay this is wrong first thing and second thing J plus two is L so this is the wrong term in the series so this is the wrong term in series so I have actually put the pen many times over there okay so J P M right. so j p m this is wrong because j plus 2 should be l but here it is j plus 3 then o j q so o right j q so 1 2 3 and o plus 2 is nothing but q this is also following u d w u is here so 1 2 3 okay and u plus 2 is nothing but w so all other are following the series except j p m so j p m will become the correct answer for question number 5 so friends this was the question which was asked on 25th of october 8 to 11 slot so friends i hope your exam was good and now the other slot people will be getting a idea so how we are going to do it so friends these are the fastest update uh, which we are getting it uh, from online study for you so if you have still not subscribed do subscribe and all the best for your remaining shift the final analysis will be in the evening thank you